This is a Moonlighter net we were just... Hey, uh, uh, Steve was going to be back in just a little bit. He was, uh, he was going to, he's going to do some picture taking. And then he's going to get that, uh, info up on YouTube. Now, I'll find somebody to pull that for me. And, uh, we'll get a copy of it. I don't, I don't think my printer is working right at the moment. I'm... And that is what we're doing right now, making the video. Because we were talking about this radio, the Mark 706 Mark II G, being too hot. One of the Mel, the fellow who you heard this fellow addressing. I've done a modification and obviously let them know about it. And this is for their benefit and yours. If you need this done, since this radio runs real hot, I've uh, put a resistor in line. A couple of them actually, from the positive. This is the bottom side of the radio from the positive lead to this resistor right here this one and then it uh, continues and goes back up to the positive lead which is this one of the fan these are 100 ohm one half watt resistors there's four of them I know you can't see it too well there's two here in parallel and two here in parallel. So, this makes the radio real cool. It runs all the time. You can turn it off. If you can hear it now, with it on. And you turn it off. And it still runs. It's the only disadvantage. I suppose you could come up with some other way of turning it off also with the switch, but eh, this is a simple fix and it works well. So, there you go, from the positive power lead right there, through two sets of parallel resistors to the positive power lead of the fan, and your cooling or overheating problem is solved. Ah, I forgot one thing. Uh, this resistor, I did not cut this wire. I just stripped the insulation off and soldered the resistor to the wire. It's still connected to its original mount, so I did not cut it totally off. And another thing maybe of interest is when I was taking the bottom off of the radio, you have two screws, several screws actually, five of them one this side, one this side, one there, one there, and the one that got me and I couldn't figure it out was the one here. So there you go. I'd like to thank Ray K4SUG, my friend who helped uh, me with this project. He provided the resistors and did the soldering. The resistor numbers are RN65D, RN65D ceramics resistors.